Welcome to Market Movers. I'm Rob Black, and here are the top business money stories of the day. Today's big story, Harry Dent. He's controversial. He predicted many things that were right and many things that were wrong in the past. Recently, he came out with what's called the baby bust. He says it's going to send the Dow Jones Industrial Average to 3,000 by the end of 2013 or 2014 latest. He's a financial newsletter writer, CEO of Economic Forecasting. Now, he tracks demographics, and he's basically saying that because of the poor economy, that family formation is slowing. Women are waiting longer to have babies. Women are waiting longer to get married because the man isn't providing for them per se. So he's saying there's going to be a baby bust. If we're not making babies and families, then we're not going shopping in retail. Now, that's all good and well, and there's some logic to that. There's no doubt about it. Harry Dent is a very logical man, but... Did Dent predict Dow 35,000 back in 2000? He did. And he's predicting 3,000 last year. It didn't happen last year. Collective wisdom of the mass can be wrong. There's no evidence yet that any one person can be consistently smarter than the market. In fact, when you look at his predictions, they fail more often than they win. For instance, back in 1999, near the tail end of the longest, most powerful bull market in US history, he came out with a book called The Roaring 2000s. But no, it was called The Roaring 2000s Investor confidently predicting the Dow would hit 44,000 by 2008. He was off by only 35,000 points. Dent also forcefully at the time argued for NASDAQ stocks, the worst investment you could possibly have made in the new era bubble. He predicted the tech revolution will favor internet oriented companies for the foreseeable future. Within three years of that prediction, the NASDAQ lost three quarters of its value, leading the index of internet stocks plummeted about 89%. In retrospect, he was wrong and he was wrong big time. Bloodied but unbroken, five years later, he comes out with another demographic trend book called The Next Great Bubble Boom, How to Profit from the Greatest Boom in History, 2006 to 2010. He was wrong. He was thinking baby boomers retiring. He was thinking baby boomers uh, spending baby boomers. He was trying to play the next big boom. And more often than not, he's wrong and not right. A lot of people quote him. A lot of people send me his book and say, what do you think about this? You know, back in 2005, he predicted that I would hit 40,000 by 2009. Again, he was off aggressively. And in fact, that's when the stock market started going lower versus higher. So it's almost wise to do exactly the opposite of what er, Harry Dent is pushing. Be very, very cautious listening to market gurus. So those are the top stories that you need to know. Don't forget, tell friends, come back often. I'm Rob Black from Market Movers, and I'll talk to you soon.